what's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical, average American here today to react and learn about the death of Princess Diana. I feel like I may be one of the only people in the world at this point that does not know the story of Princess Diana's death. And I can see here she died in 1997, and that, that is when I was still a pretty young child, so at the time, I didn't hear about this, I didn't learn about it, and somehow, this has just eluded me up until this moment, where I'm finally gonna remedy this and learn about the death of Princess Diana. All I know is that she was very beloved, her death was very tragic, very sad, I've also heard that the circumstances surrounding her death are kind of weird, whatever that means. So I'm actually really, really curious, really interested in this, because I think it's quite a story. This video we're going to watch is called The Mysterious Death of Princess Diana, What We Know and What We Don't Know. So I I'm intrigued, and I'm excited to finally learn about this. So let's take a look. Some of you might be old enough to remember the tragic night Lady Di was taken from this world. With no. a lot of Brits being able to answer this question, where were you when Princess Diana died? It was wow. some event, a global news... Wow. I mean, here in the United States, we say that about 9-11 terrorist attacks, uh, where people are like, oh, I remember where I was when I heard about that. That's the level of seriousness, and, and that's the level of impact that Princess Diana's death had, uh, particularly on the UK, I imagine, you know. You remember where you were, you remember hearing about it. It was that big. Story with a massive impact, and tears were shed from Manchester to Mumbai to Manhattan. As we said, Diana upset the apple cart a little during her marriage to Prince Charles, and after she divorced him, she wasn't willing to let herself or her kids be pushed around by the royals. It's said she fell out with Queen Elizabeth before she died, and what- Oh my, oh my, uh, there, there's already a lot more drama, uh, in this than I realized. So Diana divorced Charles, my- History of, of British royalty and stuff is a little shaky, but I think I understand enough. She divorced Charles. She had a, a bad relationship with Queen Elizabeth, by the look of it. Would have the occasional argument with Prince Philip. It was a right old royal drama, as people uh. might say in London. She was a rebel in some respects, but a right. rebel with a cause. One of the reasons for her popularity was that people believed that Diana wanted to use her title, her star presence, to do some good in the world. She this is this is what I do know about Diana. Uh, at, at some point, I did a video where I just learned about some of the amazing and also controversial things that Diana did. Uh, as a member of royalty, and, and it seemed, m by and large, to be positive, in that her image was very positive in the eyes of the public, especially, especially for a member of royalty, which is very cool. She supported many charities and many causes, including helping raise awareness about HIV, animal rights, homelessness, right. drug addiction, and use of landmines, certain right, diseases, right, right. and more. Wow. She wasn't hard on the eyes either, which helped <laughs> somewhat in her warming to the public. In TV appearances, she... True. I mean, I'm laughing, but it's true. Like, you literally, if you're an attractive person, you literally get treated differently by people. Even if you, like, doesn't matter what your personality is. Like, people will actually treat you better. Like, scientifically, it's been proven. So, you know, the narrator's probably right. That did not hurt her image. She spoke openly about her depression, her divorce, which was something the royals just didn't do. Up until then, most of the family okay. agreed that what happens in Buckingham Palace stays in Buckingham Palace. She once said okay. quite candidly on TV, I didn't like myself. I was ashamed that I couldn't cope with the pressures. Such what? So, so she was open about depression and divorce from Charles and drama that was like the royal family thought should be private. She was talking about it in the open, and they did not like that. Okay, I get it, okay. 
such honesty was unheard of in the royal milieu. Okay. And for some, this openness made her legendary. At mm. last, some reality in a royal household. She told the right. press that some of the royals thought she was unstable, admitting that at times she didn't exactly get along with her extended family. Again, this kind of criticism wow. was unheard of, but it was a breath of fresh air for some Brits. I didn't realize Diana, like, had such a chaotic relationship with the rest of the royal family. I guess after literally getting divorced, that's what it'll do. Um, to your relationships and to the rest of the family. So it, I guess it makes sense. So when she died somewhat mysteriously on the night of August 31st, 1997, there was a lot of talk about her being murdered. Conspiracy theorists believe what? that she had been shut up for good. But what? let's start with the ex- Wait, what? Wait, what? Um, oh, oh. Theories that she was shut up. Oh, is this, is this the weird kind of thing surrounding her death that I've heard of? People think she might have been killed, murdered, um, by, <laughs> to stop talking about the royal family or something? Is that, okay, this isn't, this is getting interesting. Let's keep going. Accepted story of how she died. Her death was called by some the new story of the century. If the Twin Towers going down was the new story of the following century, Diana's death rocked the world in an equal measure. Okay. There was no okay. social network back then, so news didn't travel so fast. We didn't see any last tweet from Diana, such as popped out for a while, paparazzi still being a pain. Mm. But many Brits will remember something that flashed up on their TVs around 1 in the morning, and that was Paris car accident, Princess Diana seriously hurt. Car accident. She was in a car accident. And, uh, yeah, I don't even think about <laughs> life before the internet. What? What is that? There was life before internet? Huh? No, you had to, but yeah, you had to wait until the news was in your newspaper or on your television. And when the story was confirmed or, and the details would be kind of shoddy or not accurate and breaking news. And yeah, so... What a crazy day. What a crazy morning this must have been when people started hearing the news and it was spreading. Now this uh, this news about a car accident. Did Princess Diana die in a car accident? One in the morning, and that was Paris car accident. Princess Diana seriously hurt. She's hurt. But let's reverse a little. During the day before her death, she had been with her lover, Dodi Fayed, the son of Egyptian billionaire Mohammed Al-Fayed. What? What is this? Dodie, she, this is her, uh, new boyfriend? Like, after getting divorced, someone named Dodie? She had been with her lover, Dodi Fayed, the her. son of Egyptian billionaire Mohammed Al-Fayed. Oh. Some reports tell us that he even planned to ask her hand in marriage that day. But as they both gave up the ghost that night, we'll never know for sure. Other they both died? Diana and Dodie. Her lover, they both died? Got in a car crash and died? This is terrible. This is so sad. The reports say that it wasn't the case. We know that around 4.30 p.m. that day, they both entered a hotel owned by Fayed's dad, the Ritz okay. Paris. A bit later, Fayed bought a couple of expensive rings from a jewelry store. Okay. And quite a lot later, about 10 p.m., the two went to Le Espadon restaurant. They had plans to dine somewhere else, but the paparazzi were swarming, so they changed their plans. In the book, The Day... This is so crazy. <laughs> this is so crazy. I'm like in a trance um <laughs> like that we're talking about the details before leading up to the crash like this is a proper murder mystery or something or man they must have some crazy documentaries about this subject as well okay let's keep going Diana died, it's written that she ordered Dover sole, vegetable tempura, and a mushroom and asparagus omelet. Okay. This was in fact her last meal. It said Fayed okay. started to get suspicious that some of the diners were photographers pretending to be other diners. And so the two took their meal to their hotel room. At half past okay. midnight, it said that the two wanted to leave the hotel and go to Fayed's apartment. And Man, they have a lot, they know a lot of the details of what they were doing the night before their death. So how, how is there like so much, how is there a mystery around all this? I wonder, is there like footage of the car crash? Is there, now I'm thinking ahead, like how much question is there over how they died? Is, is it not like open and closed case? Huh? 
And so they got in a black Mercedes S280 with Ritz security worker Henri Paul as the driver. Witnesses okay. say that the driver had drunk a scotch and one beer, but later blood tests said that he was three times over the legal limit. He liked to drink, his friends later said, but didn't... Their driver was drunk. Their limousine driver was three times over the limit. Alcohol limit. Is that why they crashed? Have a problem. He was also on Prozac too. Anyway, he died. Was the crash his fault? Well, that's the billion dollar question. Yeah. Some investigators said that it was his fault. One for being drunk and two for driving recklessly. Yeah, Anyhow, yeah. Paul yeah, I mean, that's, no, matter, no matter how you cut it, that's not good. That, that didn't help their chances that he was medicated and drinking alcohol at the same time. Um, I hope that we have some details over exactly how this car crash happened was driving the pair to Fayid's place. At 12.23 a.m., he was driving at high speed because he was trying to lose photographers that were following the car. This didn't end. That's so terrible. Don't tell me that paparazzi caused this. Don't tell me paparazzi caused, caused this. That's terrible. It's midnight. I mean, when you're Princess Diana, I'm not shocked, but you're being chased around town by paparazzi. Um... Your driver is drunk. <laughs> uh, this is not a good setup. Well, because Paul lost control of the car in the Pont de la Ma tunnel and hit a concrete pillar. Oh. Paul and Fayid were said to have died on impact while Diana received some treatment by someone on the scene and oh. she was later cut out of the wreckage of her car. There was once... Oh my God. They were speeding into a tunnel, collided with a pole or a column, the driver and her lover, or boyfriend, <laughs> died on the spot. Ho that's horrible. Diana survived the initial crash and rece receiving treatment. Okay. Survivor, however, and his name was Trevor Reese Jones. Some reports have said that the- Wait, what? There's a- there's another survivor? What is this? There was one survivor, however, and his name was Trevor Reese Jones. Some reports have said that the reason is that he was wearing a seatbelt, but other reports have said that this wasn't the case. He was lucky, perhaps, but not so lucky as his face was completely shattered. It Wait, is this the driver that survived? Trevor Reese Jones? Hold up. I have to know this. <laughs> No, the driver is this guy. Paul, as the driver, got in a black Mercedes S280 with Ritz security worker Henri Paul as... Henri Paul was the driver. Trevor Reese Jones is someone else in the car that they didn't talk about till right now. But he survived? Trevor... Who, who was he? What was his relationship to all of this? Why was he in the car? What? He was lucky, perhaps, but not so lucky as his face was completely shattered. It took a long time and many operations to rebuild it. Oh many years God. later, he'd write a book, saying he did that because he was bothered about all the conspiracy theories. He once said, I'm not part of a conspiracy to suppress the truth at all. All I've ever done is give the truth as I see it. Okay, so he was in the car, so he can... What, what truth has he given? Has he given his account of what happened? Like... Why they were in the car, they lost control, like, just because of a freak accident? Did they lose control because of the paparazzi chasing them and the driver who was drunk and got, let the car get out of control? Is any of this foul play? There's also this, like, overshadowing idea that there's some foul play going on here. And I'm curious about that as well. Of the night, he said he remembers very little. Just that after the crash, he heard Diana moaning and called the name Dodie. That's not what Dodie's dad thought, though. He believed Reese Jones was lying and was part of a cover-up. The billion... What? Oh my god, this... <laughs> I thought this was just gonna be, like, a straightforward kind of story, interesting about uh, the death of Di Princess Diana. This is insane. This is, this is absolutely insane, this story. This is, like, you can't even make this up. Um, okay, Dodie's father doesn't think Trevor is telling the truth about the car crash. Okay, that's where we are. In air said it was murder orchestrated by Prince Philip with spy agency MI6. And this is where the story gets interesting. <laughs> what? Wait, what? Hold up. Stop. What is this accusation? Lying and was part of a cover-up. 
The billionaire said it was murder orchestrated by Prince Philip with spy agency MI6. Murder orchestrated by the royal family and the spy agency MI6 to kill Princess Diana. Why? Why? Because she was misbehaving. She was t spilling the drama, spilling the tea, the secrets. So they kill her? Um, this is very, very, I don't even know what to think of all this yet. This is, this is something else. And this is where the story gets interesting. <sighs> oh, really? First, this, is, this is where it gets interesting. Okay, <laughs> okay. Let's stick to the official tale. At around 1.20 a.m., as an ambulance is taking Diana to the hospital, she suffers cardiac arrest. At 2.01 a.m., she arrives at Petri Salpetriere Hospital and immediately uh. undergoes surgery. At 4 a.m. on the dot, she is pronounced dead. Uh. Game over. The English Rose is no more. This so that is, that's the official story. She got in a car crash, survived temporarily, brought to a hospital, died at around 4 a.m. That's the official story. But what's the unofficial story? This is what the doctor told the media. Diana's body arrived in a condition of serious hemorrhage and shock, and urgent surgery showed a severe wound to the left pulmonary vein. Wow. Despite the closure of this wound and the two-hour external and internal cardiac massage, no official respiratory circulation could be established. Wow. That same day, her body is flown to England. Even if you weren't a fan of the royals, most people hated the paparazzi. To some extent, those avid loons with cameras are still despised today because of the event. Yeah, oh yeah, absolutely, absolutely. That, that, from the sound of this story, that definitely had something to do with it. Or, you know, maybe, you know, the driver was drunk and on some medication. That probably had more to do with it. But the fact that the paparazzi had anything to do with antagonizing them or, or chasing them in a car, making them do something they wouldn't have otherwise done, that's disgusting. And, yeah, uh, I, I totally agree. <laughs> Tears flowed under the gray clouds and drizzle of the UK, while the rest of the world mourned. Well, some cried, but quite a lot of others were already busy constructing conspiracy theories. Mm. If you saw the wreckage, you wouldn't have been surprised to hear that people died. The car looked like it had gotten on the wrong side of King Kong. Okay. But a strange thing is, some initial reports said Diana had just suffered a concussion, a broken arm, and cuts to one of her thighs. And what is that? What? What does that mean? Wait. Init some some initial reports said she was okay? What, is this like Gary? Gary who was like cleaning the tunnel? Did he see the crash? And he's like, hey, there's, hey, Princess Diana, she looks okay. Who, who are giving these reports that she was okay? <laughs> and this is what a Sky News anchor later said. I got a call saying Dodie was dead. Diana was fine, but they thought she'd probably broken her leg. What? Maybe this was just a mix-up, but it kind of looks suspicious. Because of all the theories, the English police later started an investigation called Operation Paget. Millions of dollars later, and they concluded that it was just an unfortunate accident. Many people don't... They did, they did an investigation into this, said it was an accident. There's an official story, but a news anchor said they got reports that she was okay and someone at the scene said she was okay so there's just enough shadow of a doubt for there to be a little uh little wiggle room here i guess don't believe this and let's not forget that there are quite a lot of folks in the world that believe the queen is a lizard hiding in human skin <laughs> Dodie's dad doesn't okay. believe in lizard people, but he had a rational theory that they were purposely killed because Diana was pregnant with Dodie's child. He said the royals could not accept that an Egyptian Muslim could eventually be the stepfather of the future king of England. Tests, though, showed no signs of pregnancy. <laughs> okay. I, I don't know how much thought or how much credibility to give to some of these theories. So that's like one reason people have come up with. Why the royal family orchestrated some kind of plot to kill Diana, or it was an accident. Okay. <laughs> Just depends if you believe the testers. Other reports say her condition after the crash would have made it impossible to test her for latent pregnancy. Diana okay. herself thought someone was out to get her. Her butler later told the press that she had written that someone is planning an accident in my car, brake failure, and serious head injury in order to make the path clear for Charles to marry. This Whoa. <laughs> this just keeps going and going. 
This just keeps one door keeps shutting, one opens. She wrote a note to her butler, allegedly, that said someone was out to get her. Someone was out to kill her in an automobile accident, she said to her butler. Oh man, I just, I just would love to know how credible all of these things are. And I imagine someone must have, like there was an investigation. People must have tried to get to the bottom of this. This is crazy. <laughs> this is true, and she had let it be known that she believed someone was doing things to her cars. One of her bodyguards even died in a bike crash, and Diana said that what? she thought he had been bumped off. What? This is not conspiracy. What? She actually said that. It is very compelling, but insubstantial evidence. What? 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 Diana literally said this on the books, on the record. She voiced concerns about someone out to get her and about compromised automobiles. She said that. That's wild. That's wild. Okay. There's a series of tapes of Diana being very honest about her life. And then she talked about this bodyguard, a man she said she had loved. She also said this, it was all found out and he was chucked out of royal protection. Then he was killed. I think he was bumped off. Yep, that's a big deal. There are all- What? Is there just a whole other side? To the royal family, I never knew. This dark, secret side of British royalty, I never knew about all this. What the heck is this? Also theories that the photographers were partly involved, that they actually caused the crash and were working undercover with MI6 or the Wicked Royals. That's the, right, that would be the theory, right? That the paparazzi purposely, they were paid to cause the crash. That's just, oh my gosh, this, oh my gosh, this is wild. Still, it doesn't hold much water because those guys were all professionals and they were doing what they always did. Okay. Was the surviving bodyguard in on it, as Dodie's father said? Well, he was smashed to pieces, so if he was, he really took one for the team. Right. Then some right. other people, actual witnesses, said they saw bright flashes along the road. Was someone trying to blind the driver as what? he raced along at high speed? Was this all set up? from someone chasing the car to make it drive what? fast and then someone else blinding the driver? Police didn't think that was the case. <laughs> people thought there were bright flashes. There's apparently people who were witnesses to some of this, which is interesting. Is there no security footage of this or something to, to prove what happened that night? Oh my God. Something else people say is that if Diana had been taken to a hospital sooner, she may well have survived. The thing is, in France, people are often treated on the scene, whereas in the UK or US, there's often a scoop and run policy. The investigators oh. also said that if it was true that medical staff didn't treat her well on purpose, then that conspiracy would have had to involve numerous people, from emergency crews to doctors to men. Oh my gosh, okay. There's, I mean, you can really pick apart any, any part of this story. From the paparazzi, to the emergency medical crew on the scene, to the doctors who treated her at the hospital, to the people who messed with her car beforehand. There's so many things you could say happened. It's almost impossible. You could come up with so many theories about what really happened. But what has the most credibility and proof? Many other people. Could that many people all be working for MI6? Yeah. Doctors also Maybe. later said that there know. was no way that anyone could have survived her injuries. She was as good as dead when that car kissed the pillar. Then others say Henri Paul, the driver, was secretly in the service of MI6. An investigation <laughs> did find that he had a lot of money. Too much, perhaps, for a bodyguard. But again, the British police said they could find... Oh my god. Um, there's just so much. Like... Endless theories about this. And no evidence to support the theory that Paul was working with the agency. Okay. Maybe one of the best of the theories came from a man called Richard Tomlinson. Okay. This former MI6 spy said he thought the agency was involved in her death. He said her death was similar to the way MI6 mm -hmm. had planned to knock off former president of Serbia, mm -hmm. Slobodan Milosevic. That was to blind the driver using strobes. The police investigated huh? these claims, and while they found that MI6 and MI5 had planned to take out a powerful man in Serbia, it wasn't Milosevic. <laughs> they... Is that really the best way to try to assassinate someone? Shine bright lights in their car? Like, blind them driving? Is that the... That seems to leave open the possibility that it doesn't work or they survive. Is that 
Really? The meth? Maybe, maybe, because they want it to seem like a car crash. Okay, now, <laughs> now we've officially got me uh, conspiring <laughs> these different theories of what really happened. Maybe it just happened what happened, you know? She was chased by paparazzi. The dr her driver was had been drinking, and they crashed into a tunnel in pa in in France. Maybe that's what happened, but maybe not. Hmm. They also said that they hadn't planned to do it with strobe lights. Tomlinson was later discredited and then arrested by French police and then treated pretty badly by MI6. Oh. That's no surprise because he told a lot of stories about the agency that didn't exactly make them look humane. Oh. He's never said he is absolutely sure they killed her, but he did once say, I would firstly like to state that MI6 do have the capacity to stage accidents, whether by helicopter, aeroplane, or car. And also... Oh my gosh, this is crazy. This guy's like an informant on MI6, and uh, they do not like him, which I don't know if that gives him more credibility or not. I'm sure any organization with that much resources could do whatever if they wanted to. The question is, did they? Hmm. that the strobe light was shown to us by the SBS at pool. There is also evidence of one SAS soldier admitting they had had a part in the death. It gets huh? worse. What? It is a fact that there were 14 CCTV cameras in that tunnel, yet okay. none showed the actual crash. It turned out, in short, that none were facing the right way, and that others were just... <laughs> what? What? No way, man. Okay, this... This is one of the most suspicious parts of this entire story so far. Everything up till now had plausible deniability. This is like, I was wondering about the security footage. There's cameras in the tunnel that they crashed in. None of them captured the crash. Not one. They were all facing the wrong way. I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know what to think about that. It's a fact that there were 14 CCTV cameras in that tunnel, wow. yet none showed the actual crash. It turned out, in short, that none were facing the right way, what? and that others were just not working. What? Hmm, that does sound a bit fishy. It does. There are also reports of a white Fiat Uno being involved in the crash, and some believe it was being driven by someone working for MI6. They say it hit what? Diana's car, and there has been a cover-up. Witnesses even say that they saw such a car leaving the tunnel, what? but no one saw it in the tunnel. This car. The witnesses, these these darn witnesses, and their <laughs> and they have twenty different stories about what happened. Or was never found. Fayette said that a man called John Paul James Anderson owned the car, and he had okay. been watching Diana and Dodie. That much seemed to be true, and indeed he okay. did own a white Fiat Uno. Police said it wasn't the one described, though. Fayette said this man was an agent, and he was there that night. We might what? never know the truth, because in 2000, Anderson apparently killed himself. Police said it was definite- What? Oh my god. We will never know. We will never- literally, like, based on what I've seen here today, sadly, we will never know. I thought this was just gonna be a tragic story of Princess Diana's death, and it is tragic, but it's crazy as well. It's absolutely crazy. Definitely a suicide. They found him in his car, his head detached from his body. Anything else? Yeah. What? She was. What? 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 <laughs> what? He committed suicide by chopping off his head. What? Car, his head detached from his body. Anything else? Yeah. Lots. She wasn't wearing a seatbelt for some reason when her friend said that it was very much out of character. There's also the fact that she was quickly embalmed. Fayed said that this huh? was because they tried to make further testing, especially for pregnancy, impossible. The medical staff said that it was because her body was deteriorating in the heat, and they had to think quickly. Okay. They had to have her looking presentable for the funeral. Will we know? There's just so many little details that make you wonder. No more? Well, Fayed tried to fund a movie called Unlawful Killing about that night, but due to the possible okay. legal actions, it never saw the light of day. Mm, okay. We'd surely like to see it, but it seems it just disappeared. After hearing all this, we want to hear one thing from you. What do you think happened? Tell us in the comments. Also, be sure to check out our... <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what to think anymore. That was insane. Uh, by the way, <laughs> real quick, this video was by The Infographics Show. And I gotta give that a like, because that was amazing. I can't think, like, of it, as convoluted and insane as this story really was, um, this, this actually did a good job of <laughs> uh, 
pretty clearly showing what happened and all the different theories and conspiracies in a pretty easy to understand way. Otherwise, I would have no idea what was going on. I actually feel like I have a pretty good grasp, kinda, of what happened and what people think could have happened and what is left in question. Man, insane. I mean, sadly, when this first happened, I imagine most people were just filled with grief and sadness over, okay, Princess Diana died in a car crash. It was very sad. Then, I imagine all these details come out. People start thinking, car crash, oh, she was having troubles with her relationship with the royal family. They didn't like her. Um, and all these conspiracies. And, and some of it's not even conspiracy. Some of it is just strange facts. Facts. Like that the, the security cameras didn't work. That Princess Diana thought she was being sabotaged or a target. And that's on the record. This story was absolutely bonkers. Uh, way, way, way more intense than I thought. And I still don't know what to think of it. But now I get it. I get it why this... Uh, like, people talk about Princess Diana and her death. And I, I never understood what it all... What they were talking about. What it meant. What happened. Now I, I kind of understand. And it's crazy. I totally get why this is still talked about. Although it's kind of sad, I, I, I feel like no one will really ever know, and that's kind of sad. That's, that's kind of annoying. But man, this was interesting. Uh, sad, sad story. And it really makes you wonder, what the heck? I, I enjoyed this quite a bit, learning about this. Anyway, if you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. Uh, maybe about what you think happened here, what your thoughts on Diana and her death and all this weird s circumstances, your thoughts on that, that'd be really interesting to hear about. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Britain and British culture and stuff about Britain I have never learned before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.